Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about the top three objections, the top three realtor objections that stop most mortgage professionals in their tracks like a deer in the headlights. And most importantly, how to overcome them, how to obliterate them, how to get through them, around them, dismantle them so that you can get the appointment with the top producing realtors that you're wanting to attract in your market, the best partners that are doing the most amount of transactions, that have the most amount of clients to send to you who need a mortgage now, and to be able to really convert solid, profitable partnerships. That's really the end of the day. That's the goal of reaching out to realtors, is it not? The problem is most mortgage professionals don't know how to get past the smoke screen, the BS objections the lame ass excuses that has them stopped in their tracks and not able to get past that high wall of apathy, resignation, skepticism. And frankly, it's an unnecessary wall that you can easily dismantle if you know how. And so that's precisely what we're going to show you how to do today is the mindset and the skill set it takes to dismantle those objections. So let's get into the first point that I think really needs to be discussed before we go any further. And that is the main reason why you're getting objections to begin with. And I'll tell you, the main reason you're getting objections is not because real estate agents are lame. It's not because they're flaky. It's not because they're a pain in the ass. It's not because they're prima donnas. It's not, it's not because you know they think their poop don't stink. Those may be true in some cases. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are prima donnas. Some of them are drama queens. Some of them, chances are, are not a very good fit for you because, you know, it's better to be alone than to wish you were. And some of these people will get you praying to be alone because of the drama, the trauma, all the, you know, the unnecessary energetic draining of your battery where they're just, you know, like sticking their talons into your neck, into your back. They're sticking your their fangs into your throat and they're sucking you dry energetically. We don't want to be around battery drainers. We want to be around battery chargers. People who we want to be around because they're cool cats, right? They energize us. They've got pep in their step. They got sparkle in their eye. They have great energy. They're people that inspire us to become the best version of ourselves. And we inspire them to become the best version of themselves. So now we have iron sharpening iron. Now we have eagles soaring with eagles. So that's the intention. And that's the way it should be. Unfortunately, that's not always the case, is it? So why are these realtors not giving you the time of day? Well, the first reason is because they've been trained through experience, through a multitude of experiences, that loan officers are just coming to get loans from them, to leech loans from them. So they've been trained to see you guys as annoying pests instead of welcome guests. Imagine that, right? Because most of you are coming off as parasites, just trying to leech loans instead of adding real unique value. Most mortgage professionals are coming across as an unwelcome guest because they don't have any compelling unique value, right? They call up the realtor and it's like, you know, the programs that are out there teaching loan officers and, and mortgage brokers how to grow their business. Unfortunately, most of them are old school from the dark ages, teaching old school methods from the dark ages, like cold call for 40 realtors every freaking Monday. That's definitely doing it the hard way. And they don't really provide much in the way of a unique value proposition. It's more like, how did your you know, open houses go? Is there anyone who needs help getting pre-approved from your open houses? Uh, I provide great rates and great service. Throw me a bone. There's nothing super unique and compelling that has them want to actually take the phone call, let alone do business with you. So one of the reasons why you're getting objections, lame objections, is because you have a lame value proposition. That's perhaps the biggest reason. But the second biggest reason is that they've been trained to have that buyer defense mechanism. It's kind of like you go into a store and the clerk asks you, can I help you with anything? What do you tell them? No, I'm just what? I'm just looking, right? That's your knee jerk response. 
Why is that? It's a buyer defense mechanism. And believe it or not, your realtors have the same mechanism driving their behavior. So when you're reaching out to them, as soon as they hear you're a mortgage professional, that buyer defense mechanism is going to kick in. So we don't take it personally. We don't buckle like cheap lawn furniture at the first sign of resistance or skepticism or fear or buyer defense. We just know that's par for the course because they've been trained through a multitude of less than positive experiences that mortgage professionals, loan officers leach their loans and leach their time and waste their time. And so they're putting that wall up to prevent from that happening again. So don't cuss them out for it. Don't blame them for it. Don't criticize them for it. This is what we do every single time we go into a store and the clerk asks us, can I help you? You say, no, I'm just looking. So we do it. The realtors do it. Welcome to being human. Okay. So that's the biggest reason why we're getting objections. Now, obviously, we don't want to have those objections show up because we have a lackluster lane value proposition. That's one of, one of the big reasons why smart, growth-minded, ambitious mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com because they realize it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from their own mistakes, having a lackluster, limp, lame value proposition than to stick their key in the ignition and invest in a battle-tested, proven system that allows them to have a kick-ass, compelling value proposition right from the get-go, right? It's the difference between grinding up the 20-story staircase with a 50-pound backpack you know, busting your buns, doing it the hard way versus just pressing the P button on the elevator, going straight to making prosperity money and making penthouse money right from the start. So that's one relatively easy component to fix if you have an expert in your corner to teach you how to do it. But if you're just meandering in the wilderness, unarmed and naked, not having a plan and hoping to pan, have it pan out, that's chances are not going to bode well. If you're just messing around with a Rubik's Cube, and you're not a Rubik's Cube expert, chances are you're gonna waste a lot of time messing with the Rubik's Cube to no avail and never get those colors to line up. Time is money, but it's actually more important and more valuable than money because you can always make more money, you can't get that time back, right? So that's why smart, growth-minded, ambitious mortgage professionals hire us. They don't wanna waste their time banging their head against the wall, spinning their wheels, doing it the hard way. They just wanna lock in straight out the gate with what works. So the solution, my friends, the solution is show them the cheese with no whiskers. I learned this from Dean Jackson. He has an awesome marketing podcast uh, with Joe Polish, Joe Polish rather, called I Love Marketing. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's a great podcast and it's got some excellent marketing distinctions. And one of the distinctions I learned from Dean Jackson is if you want to catch a mouse, you got to show them the cheese with no whiskers. And what that means is you want to show them only the stuff they like, only the stuff that they're hot for what you got for. And don't show them all the stuff that's going to scare the shit out of them. Like in this case, if you're trying to catch a mouse, you don't want to show them the whiskers because they know whiskers are attached to something that wants to eat them for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Right. So show them the cheese but no whiskers. Show them only what they want, but don't give them too much that you start showing whiskers. And a lot of times that's a big reason why loan officers, mortgage brokers, mortgage professionals are getting rejected and uh, realtors not giving them the time of day because they're giving them too much information. One thing worth writing down, and this is definitely a writer downer. I don't say things every day that are worth writing down. This is one of those rare moments. The more you tell, the more you repel. The more you tell, the more, the less you sell. Because the more information you give them, the more you arm them to have more reasons why they're not interested, right? If you give them too much information, you start showing the whiskers. You want to keep it really concise and really tight and only focus on the cheese without giving too much that you start to reveal the whiskers. Cause now you're gonna to start to scare them away because that, that starts to sound off the alarm bells in their mind around, oh, I don't do that, I don't need that, I've already done that, it didn't work. You know, I already did that with someone, it was a waste of time, it was a waste of money, my company already provides that. 
So you've got to just show them the cheese, the thing that that's very hard for them to say no to, and don't give them any sign of any whiskers by don't not giving them too much information is really the big idea. So that being said, let's get into the first objection, shall we? The first objection is I already have a lender. Sound familiar? I already have a lender. No thanks. I already work with someone. No thanks. I'm already married to my lender. No thanks. I already have a lender. No thanks. I'm already working with someone. Those are all pretty much the same objection. I already have a lender. And that is by far the most common and prevalent knee jerk buyer defense BS lame excuse that you'll hear from realtors time and time again as to why they aren't willing to meet with you, why they don't want to talk with you or why they're not interested. I already have a lender. Right. I'm sure if you've been in the business for more than a day, you've already experienced that. You're well already well acquainted with that smoke screen. So how do you overcome that objection? Well, the first thing you need to do is stop resisting it. Instead, embrace it. Right. I can appreciate that. Frankly, I was expecting you to have a lender. All the best realtors in town have a go to mortgage professional in their corner to ensure they gain control over the quality of the transaction. So I'm glad to hear you're working smart by having a go-to mortgage professional in your corner. But that wasn't my question. My question is, do you have capacity to handle more buyers and sellers right now? Notice that's all cheese, no whiskers. Who's gonna say no to that? Well, if someone really is swept off their feet, crazy busy, they might say, yeah, I don't have any capacity. Then you can just ask for a referral. Okay, cool. If that's the case, we're probably not the right fit. Who do you know who's growth-minded, ambitious, who's a top-shelf, top-notch realtor who delivers five-star experience, five-star service to their clientele who might be open to taking on more buyers and sellers right now? And just go right past them. What are you doing when you do that? You're whacking them over the head with a velvet-covered hammer, and you're making them realize, oh, shit. I'm saying no to something that I shouldn't be saying no to. This person's for real. They're taking it away now. And they're asking, who do I know? Maybe I should come to my senses instead of going full-blown stupid and reconsider what they're proposing, right? So now you have an opportunity to have them get out of the stupor of going full-blown stupid and come to their senses and say, you know what? Actually, that might interest me now that you mentioned it a second time. If they still remain in full-blown stupid mode, they may refer you to someone. But either way, you have the posture that you're cool other way. SW, SW, SW. Some will, some won't. So what next? Someone's waiting. You're cool either way. You're going to build your dream team either way. You're going to build your stable of rock star, top producing realtors either way. And you might be thinking, well, Dorn, I don't have buyers and sellers. How am I going to offer buyers and sellers when I don't have buyers and sellers? Well, that's precisely... Why smart, growth-minded, ambitious mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com is to learn the secret sauce on how to deliver that kind of value to realtors. Because once you have that kind of value, once, once you're armed with that kind of value proposition, the world is your oyster. Instead of playing the bitch to realtors, you make them your bitch, so to speak. Instead of being the backseat driver, you take the wheel. Now you're in control. We're flipping the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. How's that for flipping the script, right? Anything less than that is doing it the hard way. The problem is most mortgage professionals don't know how to do that. And that's pre precisely why they struggle. That's precisely why they work longer and harder for less. They bang their head against the, you know, the wall. They spin their wheels. They stay stuck in, I can't afford it prison. They make way less money than they're capable of. And they remain in this frustration, stress prison because they don't know how to break free from just getting by in this business. They don't know how to break free from the stagnation prison they're in, spinning their wheels in the same spot. This is the shortest path to the cash, friends. There is no faster way to double, triple, quadruple, even quintuple your income than getting just a small stable of top producing realtors who are sending you one, two, three deals a month. Each of those partners are good for one, two, three deals a month. If you're working with the top dogs, the ones that are doing 20 plus buyer side transactions a year, that is par for the course. Could you imagine having five to 10 of those kind of high quality partners, not the bottom feeders, not the whining, selling, complaining, jelly donut eating, bottom feeding realtors that might send you one or two, three deals a year. We're talking one, two, three deals a month. 
That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about working with the champions, the winners, the you know top producers versus those who are just mediocre. Because if you want to be an eagle and be a top producer, you can't afford to be hanging out in the chicken yard with the chickens. You got to soar with the eagles. Birds of a feather flock together. And the best way to attract the best partners is have the best value proposition and show up as the best version of yourself. How do you do that? By investing in yourself. Or you can keep doing it the hard way and pay a much heftier tuition to the university of not knowing, not knowing how to get solid partners, not knowing how to craft and deliver a kick-ass value proposition, not, not knowing how to differentiate yourself from the, all the other Joe Schmo LOs out there, not knowing how to set yourself apart from the pack, not knowing how to mine the gold from your database and maximize repeat and referral business, not knowing how to flip the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. If you don't know how to do that stuff, you're leaving tens of thousands of dollars a month on the table to your competitors who do know how to do that because they've invested in themselves with a proven system and have an expert in their corner to show them how to do it. And that's why smart, growth-minded, ambitious mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com. So that's the first objection is I already have a lender. And we dismantle that by not resisting it, but embracing it. Of course, you already have a lender. All the best realtors in town have a go-to mortgage pro in their corner. That's the only way to gain control over the quality of your transaction. Of course, you have a lender. The question is not that. The question is, do you have capacity to handle more buyers and sellers right now? And then in our program, in this coaching program that we provide called the Realtor Marketing Acceleration Formula, we give you all the scripting the words that work that get these realtors hot for what you got. So you're booking appointments with top producing agents like a hot knife through butter. We have clients who literally have zero experience in this business, zero, who turn their annual income into their monthly income in literally three months. We have clients who are making more money in one month they used to make in three, four, five, six months after just three months of using this system. It's all about having the words that work and being able to use those words that work with confidence and certainty. And it's the certainty that attracts the partners. It's not just the words, it's how you say the words. And when you say the words with certainty, because you know that you know that you know that you've got a system that works when you work it, it's like all of a sudden, you it feels like you've been in a dark, damp cave for years or weeks or months or however long you've been in this business for. All of a sudden, someone just flips on the heat and flips on the lights. It's like a whole new world. It opens up a whole new world of power and prosperity virtually overnight. So what we want to do once we now get them past that objection is invite them to a meeting. We call that on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com, the discovery meeting. That's where we lift up the hood on the business and I identify what's working and what's not working. We identify the pain points and the challenges and what keeps them up at night. Where's their marketing engine losing steam? Where are they leaving money on the table to their competitors? Where are they you know, frustrated? Where are they losing sleep? We want to identify those pain points. It's just like going to a doctor. Diagnose first, prescribe second. If you start ramming pills down their throat without doing a proper diagnosis, that's called malpractice. That's no bueno, as they say in Mexico, no bueno. You want to diagnose first, then prescribe second. So we teach you in our system exactly how to do the diagnosis. You become a professional diagnostician. We actually give you dozens of really powerful strategic questions to uncover all those areas where their marketing engines losing steam, all those areas where you can help to cure what ails them. But if they don't buy the problem, they're not going to buy the solution. So they got to buy the problem first and realize where they're hemorrhaging opportunity before they're going to buy your solution. That's why you need to have a really powerful diagnostic process first before you prescribe any kind of solution. Otherwise, it's just not going to jive. But once they buy the problem, they're going to be begging you for the solution. And that's the power of the system. Then the second objection is I'm not interested. Again, that's just a knee jerk reaction, right? So whatever it is that you're offering them, their knee jerk reaction is just going to be I'm not interested. Why? Because they sniffed out that you are a mortgage professional. They sneak, sniffed out that you're a loan officer or a mortgage broker. The moment they hear that, 
It's immediate buyer defense. I'm not interested. So when I hear people say that, whether it be through text or through email or through over the phone, I just need to stay curious. Stay in a curious state. Don't clam up. Don't buckle like cheap lawn furniture. Don't contract, but expand into it in curiosity. I'm just curious. May I ask what it is about getting buyers and sellers that you're not interested in? And all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, right? It's like, now you're expanding into it. And they're like, well, it's not that I'm not interested in that. It's just that, you know, I already work with a lender and it's usually going to morph into something else, right? It'll morph into something else. It's a bit like whack-a-mole, right? You hit that, the head of one whack, one mole, and then another mole comes up. So, but what you're going to do by expanding into it with a curiosity, a genuine caring and curious energy is you're going to get drilled down into what's the real truth. So instead of buckling and, and, and contracting, I'm expanding in curiosity. And then I can handle that objection. So if they shift into, well, I already have a lender, then it's like, that's cool. I was expecting to have a lender, right? Just like what we were talking about before. Or they might say, well, you know, uh, what do you have to offer? What, are you trying to sell me leads? No, I'm not trying to sell you leads. That's doing it the hard way. I'm looking for a top-notch realtor in my market, in your market, who I can send my buyers and sellers to. Do you have capacity to handle more buyers and sellers right now, right? And then from there, it's like, yes or no. If they say yes, then you invite them to the meeting. If they say no, then it's like, well, that's cool. We're probably not the right fit then because the partners I work with, they're growth-minded, they're ambitious, and they're always wanting to take their capacity to the next level. And the last thing they want to do is start banging their head against that glass ceiling and spinning their wheels in stagnation because they understand if you're not growing, you're dying. And if you're not growing, you stagnate. And stagnation breeds rot. And that's why they work with me. That's precisely why they work with me so that they can continually expand their business and work smarter, not harder. But if you're cool doing what you're doing and getting what you're getting, I'd suggest you just keep doing it the way you're doing it and getting it the way you're getting it. And uh, perhaps in the future, when you're ready to grow, we can circle back. Let me ask you, who do you know who's growth minded, ambitious, who delivers five star service to their clientele who might be open to taking on more buyers and sellers right now? Notice how now, again, I'm whacking them over the head with that velvet covered hammer and bypassing them and asking for the referral. Right. So again, now we're in the power position. I'm not begging. I'm not groveling. I'm in a power position. Right. But again, you can't do this if you don't know how to deliver on the value. You can talk smack all day long. You can talk about all the things you can do for them all day long. But if you can't deliver on that, you are screwed, blued and tattooed. You don't have anything to stand on. And what's going to happen is you're going to tarnish your reputation because you're making all these promises you can't deliver on. And that's precisely why you need to invest in yourself by having an expert in your corner, because you realize it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from your own mistakes, spinning your wheels, trying to reinvent the wheel, doing it the hard way than to invest in an expert who's already got the system, already got the formula after 17 years on the front lines, has already paid the price. And now you can just lock in on their formula, just stick your key in the ignition and drive away. And you can condense decades into days. So instead of trying to figure this out over 17 years like I have, you can go straight to what works and get the same results most people wouldn't get in 17 years. You can get those results in literally, you know, four, six, 12, maybe maximum 20 months. But we're talking like rapid fire speed, right? Most of our clients, most of our clients are getting double, triple, quadruple their income within two to six months. That's what we call condensing decades into days. Because if you think about it, what's one realtor worth who's sending you one, two, three deals a month? If your average commission per deal is 3K a pop, right? And you're getting two of those a month from one partner, that's 6K in one month. And if you do that for the whole year, we're talking over $60,000, $70,000 a year just for one partner. You don't need many of those to start stacking up some zeros and commas in a hurry, right? You're making, you know, three quarters of a million dollars a year just from 10 of those partners. That's called freedom money. So now you're making surgeon money where you can do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want, and literally be making surgeon money without having to spend half a million dollars in student loan debt and taking 14 years to do it like a real surgeon. You're doing that in literally a matter of three, four, five, six months.
That's the power of what you have in your hands, guys. Is it fair? Hell no, it's not fair. But is it on the table for you? Yes. You might be thinking, well, what's the catch, Doran? The catch is you got to do the work. The catch is the system works only when you work it. It works like push-ups. If you do your push-ups, you're going to get stronger. If you sit on the couch eating bonbons watching Oprah, you're going to get fatter and weaker. Same thing here. It works when you work it just like push-ups. So here's the third objection, guys. The third objection is call me back later. Call me back later. Sound familiar? So this one is pretty easy because, again, this is a smoke screen to just try and get you off the phone, shake you off, kind of like, you know, brushing a flea off their shoulder, right? They think you're just a parasite trying to suck loans from them. So they're just trying to, you know, brush you off like a flea or like dandruff, right? Just get you off their shoulder. So this is, again, a buyer defense mechanism. So all you do, again, is you flow like water. Okay, cool. I can certainly call you back later. May I ask you one last question before I let you go? May I ask you one last question before I let you go? Notice how polite that is. Notice how hard it is to say no to that. They have to say yes. So then they say yes and say, I'm just curious. I'm looking for a top-notch realtor to send my buyers and sellers to. Do you uh, have capacity to handle more buyers and sellers right now? You do? Okay, cool. If that's the case, let's get together either through Zoom or face-to-face, -face, and then you invite them to that meeting. There's more to the script. That's only part of the script that we teach our clients, but that's the basic essence of it. I'm literally handing you guys gold for free here. Literally gold for free. Now, most coaches out there, most you know, so-called uh, marketing experts and uh, you know, certainly even my marketing mentors, they say, Dorn, you're giving away too much gold here. If you give them away too much gold, they're not going to want to utilize your services and they're going to go out and they're going to mess it up because they don't have the full system. Well, today I just don't care. I'm giving you the gold. It's Thanksgiving. I'm feeling benevolent today. I want to just show you a little bit of a glimpse of what you'll be learning on the inside here on Planet Prosper. If you decide, decide to make that bold, intelligent, strategic investment in yourself with our system, this gives you an idea of the power of the technology, the system, the approach that we provide to our clients. Can you see how these kind of words that work and the strategy, the elegant simplicity of the strategy that we're bringing here for free on this podcast, can you see how this will catapult you to new, new levels of income, production, and prosperity in a hurry? You got to be knowing this is so much more elegant, powerful, simple, and effective than cold calling 40 freaking realtors every Monday. Why? Because we have a system that gets realtors hot for what you got in advance of even calling them. So instead of having to cold call realtors, you have a system that sends out words that work with the right value proposition, with the right language that gets them hot for what you got in advance of even calling them. So now you're only calling people who are pre-tenderized and hot for what you got and predisposed to say yes before you even talk to them. So it's no longer a cold call. Now you're able to reference the fact, hey, we've been corresponding by text, right? So now it's more of a warm call and you've got them pre-tenderized and predisposed to say yes before you talk to them. So now instead of digging the hole for the foundation for your skyscraper with a gardening trowel, you're rolling out the freaking excavator. Much more fun, much more fruitful. Wouldn't you not agree, right? It's like night and day difference. So now that I've got the person open by virtue of me asking that question, may I ask you one last question before I let you go? Now I've got my foot in the door. It's like if you're knocking on doors and you're doing door-to-door -door sales, you got to get your foot in the door. Otherwise, they're going to slam it in your face. That's how we get the foot in the door. Now, if they say, you know, yeah, I do have capacity, but I don't have time right now. I was like, cool, I don't have time either. So you and I are in the, the same spot. So let's get together. One works, what works better for you? Uh, we could either do this week or next week. We could either do Thursday or Friday. We could either do Tuesday or Wednesday. Give them the alternate advance and let them choose a time that works. And now you can button it down because you gotta be knowing the moment you get them off the phone, they're not answering the phone again. If they are, there's a higher chance they're going to answer the phone the second time when you show up with clarity and certainty and caring and you show up with a real value proposition instead of coming across like you're groveling and you're just another average Joe LO trying to leech loans from them.
right? So that energy of certainty is powerful. This is another writer downer worth writing down. Gaff it with a pen before it slips away like a slippery fish gone forever. And it's this, I am a merchant of certainty. I am a merchant of certainty. When you own the identity that you are a merchant of certainty and it's your certainty that attracts these partners to you like moths to a porch light on a dark summer's night. It's your certainty that has winners want to roll with winners. It's your certainty that has eagles want to soar with eagles. It's your certainty that has the best realtors in town want to work with you because you know that you know that you know that you're the bomb freaking diggity and you've got 50 different references written down on all the different value adds and all the different reasons why it's the no brainer of the year for smart, growth minded, ambitious real estate agents to work with you. Why it's the no brainer of the year because you bring all these different unique value adds that no one else even thinks about offering, let alone offers. It's like, man, you got certainty oozing out of your pores. Chances are that's why you're listening to this podcast right now. Not because I'm like, yeah, you may want to sort of kind of, you know, think about um, reaching out to realtors. Um, and, you know, if they give you an objection, you know, it may, uh, it may hurt a little bit. Um, you know, I know it hurts me, you know, when you get rejected, it, it's uh, no one wants to feel rejected, but if you'll just, um, you know, eventually if you do it long enough, eventually you'll kind of get over it. And, uh, you know, if you throw enough yogurt to the fan, maybe, you know, eventually something will stick, you know, um, obviously if you're going to, have someone in your corner on your team to help you get champion results. You're not going to sit around, listen to someone who doesn't have certainty because again, we already have enough doubt, enough fear as it is. We don't need someone else pouring gasoline on our fear and our doubt by virtue of their fear and their doubt. So when you're showing up to realtors, own your freaking badass self, your champion self, roll your shoulders pack back, put your freaking cape on, own your superpower self, and own that identity of certainty that you are light in the darkness, that you're called by greatness for greatness. God didn't make any junk. He didn't start with you. Own that identity that you're on mission, that you're living with purpose on purpose. When you show up, you show up with certainty. You do that, I tell you, it'll make all the difference in the world, but you've got to back it up. It's not enough for me to say that we can double, triple, quadruple our client's business in a matter of three to six months. We've got to deliver. The reason I speak with certainty is we've been doing this for a long time. This is not our first rodeo. 17 years on the front lines. We've helped countless mortgage professionals double, triple, quadruple, even quintuple their income in record speed. And so I've got all kinds of certainty, not based on, based on theory, but based on real world results. We got PhD and freaking results here on Planet Prosper. This is not theory. This is what we do all day, every day. So it's got to be backed up with action. It's got to be backed up with fulfillment on the promises. Otherwise, you're just making empty promises and pouring gasoline on the fire with your marketing with empty promises just speeds up the rate at which the world finds out you freaking suck. That tends not to bode so well. So make sure you guys are armed and dangerous with not just the words that work, not just the ability to dismantle it and obliterate these objections, but to actually deliver on the value that you're bringing to the table. And the cool thing about what we bring to the table is that all you need is just a few deals to recoup your investment with our system. And now you're making freedom money. Now you're making, you know, sugar daddy or sugar mama money. Now you're making do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want money for the rest of your career in the upper echelon of income earners on planet Earth, making surge in money without taking the 14 years and the half a million dollars worth of student loan debt. That's what I call the shortest path to the cash. So if you're listening to this, you're watching this, you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down, brother. This has been dynamite. I've learned more from your free podcast today, Dorn, than I've learned from a bunch of shit programs I spent way too much money on that didn't deliver. I like your style. I like that you don't pull punches. I like that you are the real freaking deal and you speak with certainty because I can tell you deliver on what you promise. If you're that person, and you're staring 2022 in the face. And you're like, man, it's time to level up my game. I don't want to be in the same place at this time next year than I am this year, right here, right now. I'm ready to step up my game. I'm ready to spread my wings and soar. I'm ready to step into making freedom money. I'm, I'm ready to start making hero money for my family. 
I'm ready to step into my God-given potential. I'm ready to start taking new ground. I want to conquer new mountains, not just sliding down old ones. If that's you and you realize that your way ain't working to create exponential growth, your way may be working to be getting what you've been getting, but you realize that while that may be okay, or maybe it's not okay, whatever the case is, there's some dissatisfaction. You know what I call that? Holy discontent. It's an inspirational dissatisfaction as W. Clement Stone once said in his book, The System That Never Fails, The Success System That Never Fails. Great book, by the way. It's inspirational dissatisfaction. That means you're in a place where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of spinning your wheels. You're in a place where you're sick and tired of sick and tired of doing good when you know you're capable of great. That means you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of living in I can't afford a prison. I don't know what it is for you, but there's that holy discontent, that inspirational dissatisfaction that's like a blowtorch under your buns that says enough is enough no more i've had it i'm done with settling i'm ready to step up my game and soar if that's you then i invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call by booking a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply on that call you're gonna either book a call with me or one of my consultants we're just gonna have a real talk on honest conversation and we're gonna lift up the hood on your business and look at what's working now in your business, what's not working in your business. Where are you now? Where do you wanna take it? If you are in a place where you're wanting to create a, not just an incremental little itty bitty improvement, but a quantum leap breakthrough. And once we have this honest conversation, we're 100% certain we can help you, then we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you will leave that meeting with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we're going to have some fun. Unless you're really boring, then we won't. No, just kidding. But that being said, it's not a sales call, guys, because if I have to sell you on making freedom money, you're not ready to make freedom money. So we're not here to sell you jack. We're here to get clarity, to shine the light of truth on your situation, to see if we can help you. If we can help you, we'll show you what that looks like. But this is not a sales call. This is a clarity call. And once you get on this call and you step into the light of an honest conversation, shining the light of truth on your situation and feel our advocacy for you, feel the fact that we're not here to put our hand in your wallet. We're here to be your champion and your advocate and bring clarity for clarity's sake to see if we can help you. You will know that to be true. I'm not just blowing hot air here, friends. That's how we roll all day, every day. That's just who we are. That's the stand we are because we're not going to make it even an offer to you if we're not 100% certain we can help you. We got too many people banging down our door who need our help. The last thing we're going to do is try to push a soggy noodle up a hill. We'd rather run with the few than drag the many. So just know that this is a clarity call so that you understand the expectations and the context in which we're going to have this honest conversation. So if you're cool with that, and if you're ready to create a breakthrough in your life and your business, you definitely should be cool with that because it's certainly a fair proposition. Go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And if we have the right fit, the right synergy, the right chemistry, and we're 100% certain we can help you, I have no doubt that we can get you making more money in Q1 of 2022 than you made in all of Q3 and Q4 of 2021, making more money in one month used to make in three, four, five, six months. Again, that's called working smarter, not just working harder. My name is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. We just talked about the three realtor objections that stop most mortgage professionals in their tracks and how to avoid them. I trust you got value, insight, clarity from this. If you're ready to take things to the next level and have an honest conversation to see if we can help you, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Be blessed and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.